So, what are the keys to the game this Sunday? Washington Commanders versus the Philadelphia Eagles. Well, I would say the first key to the game is to keep the Philadelphia Eagles offense off the field. So, how do you do that? Well, the first thing you do is you play methodical offense. Now, the first thing that that means is that you have a long extended drive. You don't score quickly, but you do score. And how you do that is basically you establish a run game early. Washington didn't have much of a run game against Detroit, as you saw. So they're going to have to change their fortunes. I, I wished, I really wish that we had Brian Robinson back for this game because I think this is definitely one of those games where you could really use somebody like him who, at least in preseason, he seemed like that he got positive yards every time he touched the football. So, you know, unfortunate, we probably won't really see him until um, maybe a couple of weeks from now. But at any rate... Uh, we're going to have to establish the run with Anto Antonio Gibson, J.D. McKissick. Um, we're going to have to maybe do some gadget plays with Curtis Samuel, but we're going to have to establish the run, get some positive net yards with that, uh, maybe some short intermediate passes. And that's the other thing. Carson Wentz needs to make sure he doesn't try to be a superhero, you know, to come out and try to, you know, do the home run pass downfield. Um, especially some of those ugly duckling passes that he threw, that one that he threw that just kind of sailed on him. Um, we need for him to just take what is given to him. If it's the underneath passes, hey, you know, just net positive yards, right? Just methodically go down the field. Hopefully you're scoring each time, at least if it's field goal. But, you know, of course we want touchdowns. But keep the Philadelphia Eagles offense off the field and then once Philadelphia Eagles offense is on the field of course it's going to be a lot of pressure on our secondary that's already been suspect as it has been and you know with that the other key is do your job all right do your job secondary do your job don't try to don't try to think you got to do some other things do your job um, stay in your lane don't miss assignments you know, that that's the thing. Um, and every single player has to be able to be sharp. They have to be on it. And I think that it's going to be a testament to see how much that they have uh, responded to criticisms and stuff like that from the coaching staff throughout this week. And so I think that you're really going to see some differences in this game and if you don't then well you're probably going to realize that hey th this these guys are just not it you know these guys need need to go somewhere else but um I i'm looking to to see some improvement this week they have they have to improve they have to improve um you know so do your job long methodical drives down the field uh you can't have three and outs. You just can't have three and outs. And you got to be able to put the Eagles in third and long situations. You got to get them off the field on third down. Got to get off the field on third down. That's just it. You can't allow them to convert third and tens, third and fourteens. Um, just can't do it. You got to be able to stay in front of the sticks. You got to make sure that uh, they're not. Uh, you know, you don't have people missing assignments, missing tackles, things like that, uh, because their receiver is going to get theirs. You got to pressure. Um, you got to pressure Jalen Hurts. You know, Jalen Hurts, he's going to hold on to the ball a little bit longer than um, what we saw last week with uh, Jarrett Goff. So that's going to give our defensive line, hopefully, a uh, some time to get to him and to pressure him. And I would say Jack Del Rio definitely needs to throw the kitchen sink at him, throw some blitzes at him and pressure him. Now he may beat you with his legs. If he does, I mean, you know, throw a spy in there, make sure that Holcomb or, or Davis is there being the spy, but um, you're going to have to throw some pressure at him. 
you know, force Jalen to beat you with his legs, whatever it takes, but don't let him get chunk plays to his receivers. I think that's the biggest thing um, because you're going to have to wear him down throughout the game. You have to knock him on his his hind end early in the game. I think that's the biggest thing. If you can get to him early in the game, rattle him. I don't think he's been rattled yet this year. So rattle him. If you can rattle him, I think that you have a shot. But it's going to be a tough game. I Honestly, I, I don't see the commanders coming out on top of this game, but I think it's going to be a close game. Uh, if it's a shootout, I definitely see the Eagles winning this game, unfortunately. Uh, if it's a close game, uh, if it's low scoring close game, I think the commanders have a shot, but they only have a shot if they do these things. If they get into, if they get behind, it's going to be rough for them. Um, so let me know in the comment section what you think. Do you agree? Um, do you disagree? Let me know in the comment section. Um, also, I want to do a shout out to uh, Rick Snyder. Now, he doesn't know I'm doing this, but I just bought his book. 100 things 100 things commander fans should know before they die. Uh, this is a revised book that Rick Snyder has uh, put out recently. Um, this is revised from I think his 2014 book uh, 100 things that Redskins fans should know before they die. Uh, I'd never got a chance to get that book but um, this is a revised book for commanders fans. Um, he is selling it on his website. Uh, so go to his website. His website is uh, monumentalthoughts.com. Go there and you can check out um, right here if you go to a Commander's Book. Here's where you can buy it. I uh, accept uh, PayPal. So, and he'll even, uh, he'll even write a little signature in it for you. So, um, yeah, I mean, I haven't started reading it yet. Um, I am going to reach out to Rick and see if him and I can hook up for a podcast together. I've already mentioned it to him on his podcast. He seems uh, seems like he's possibly interested if he can carve out some time for it. And so that will be fun having uh, Rick on, on the podcast. So, um, yeah, so make sure you buy this book for Rick. Support Rick's channel as well, uh, Rick, Rick Snyder's Washington. Um, he, just give him two minutes, man. Give him two minutes. Uh, and at least give me two minutes as well. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, which is Washington Football Maniacs channel. Uh, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you won't miss any other video releases that I come out with. As well, if you want to support us in other ways, you can do so by doing this. That